Rotary Gaming back again with another Monster Truck Diecast review video. Today we'll be looking at some vintage Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks uh, from 2004 to 2005. Um, so yeah, um, um, uh, here's the uh, first one we're going to take a look at. Uh, here's the uh, card back. Um, um, and yeah, um, and the first one is Bad News Travels Fast. This is the uh, retro scheme and the uh, first, and I think one of the first few paint schemes Bad News Travels Fast ever ran, and then, uh, then it had the orange body and then the purple body, etc. Uh, this is uh, when it was, this truck was owned by uh, a man named Bruce Haney, and then I think it was 2000. 14 or 2013 when Brandon Darrow purchased the truck. So, yeah, so let's unbox Bad News Travels Fast. All right, so here it is, Bad News Travels Fast. And then there's a the little Monster Jam logo. I always thought it was cool that they came with those cardboard Monster Jam logos. You can just uh, hang them up on your wall or something like that. Um, yeah, so here's the uh, truck. Very gorgeous. Uh, very gorgeous looking truck. Um, so happy to finally have this in my collection. It's a metal base, of course. I, I love the old metal base trucks. So let's uh, uh, take a look at the uh, details here. We have the Bad News Trails Fast logo, the Moss Jam logo, the uh, newspaper boy on his motorcycle or on his bike. The Hot Wheels logo, um, and then some houses in the background. Uh, I love this old Silverado casting. And then uh, here's the hood right there with the newspaper boy and some more houses. Uh, there's the hand where, and it says, you lose to bad news, which was the slogan, of course. Um, tailgate says bad news travels fast. And then uh, same stuff going on here. It's got a black roll cage, the uh, chrome metal base chassis, black tires with uh, red rims. And yeah, that is the Bad News Travels Fast. A beautiful looking truck. So happy to finally have the 2004 Bad News Travels Fast in my collection. All right, and here is the uh, next one we're gonna take a look at. Here's a 2005 truck. Um, it has a similar card back, but uh, uh, there's some subtle changes uh, to some of the renders, like for Shocker and Monster Mutt, for example. Uh, Expel never got a big hub release. Well, technically that's its Rev Treads rendering, but yeah, so this one is Power Forward. Um, yeah, Power Forward, this is such a cool truck. Carl Malone's Power Forward. Um, very awesome truck, very awesome design, and, uh, I do have the small hub one, which was the, uh, just like black and purple, but I never got this one until now, so let's unbox it. There's another Moss Jam logo. This one's a little bit bigger, but still pretty cool. I was, I was loved when they came with those. Here it is, power forward. Uh, the second and final scheme. This thing is awesome. Looking sweet. And here it is. It's got the old uh, Ford F-150 casting. I love the old Ford grill. Uh, this thing is so cool. Um, it's the short cab. Um, yeah, this is such a neat casting. It's a shame they got rid of it. But still, this, this is... And nostalgia, nostalgia's hitting me hard. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a nostalgic, I'm a nostalgic person when it comes to Monster Jam. Been a Monster Jam fan for two decades now. All right, so let's take a look at the graphics. We got the Monster Jam logo, Power Forward logo. We got a, we got a basketball with a, with a scary face. We got a basketball hoop. Some flames in the background, Hot Bills logo. Oh, and it looks like the 
basketball thing is like being destroyed. That's pretty neat. That's pretty crazy. Carl Malone race team number 11, the basketball. Beautiful grill, not printed, but still beautiful Ford grill. Here's the hood. You got Carl Malone himself on it, power forward. Uh, looks like he's a uh, purple background. Like he's, uh, looks like he's trying to do, trying to go for a slam dunk or a trick shot. Uh, got the number 11 with a basketball background. It says Carl Malone race team on both sides. Here's the tailgate. Um, Carl Malone right there. Um, I have no idea what that says. Uh, dedicated to Carl. Yeah, I have no idea what that says. If you guys, if you guys know what that says, let me know uh, in the comments below. I can't, I don't know what all that says. I, I can just make out Carl Malone on the top there. And then here's the other side, the exact same thing. It's got a black roll cage, the uh, standard chrome metal chassis, of course, um, orange rims with black tires. And yeah, there it is. Power forward, the big hub edition. This thing is awesome. All right, and the next one we're gonna take a look at, it's another uh, truck from 05. Here's the uh, card back. Uh, which one do you guys think it is? It is Robots. Yeah, we got Robots finally. This one is so cool. Let's take a look at it. If you guys are wondering what, why the bubble was kind of yellow, it's because uh, uh, it was sun faded. Um, sometimes, yeah, when it came to the older packaging for the like really older Hot Wheels Monster Gym trucks, if you left the uh, card out in the sun, like uh, it would, the bubble would kind of have that yellow tint to it. Um, but yeah, here it is, Robots. Such a cool truck. Um, and uh, this truck was, this truck was obviously designed after the Robots movie. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at it. Um, and uh, let's start with the base color. I love the base color. It's the half cream color, half like teal blue. Looking sweet. So uh, we got the Moss Jam logo. We got uh, the Robots logo, Hot Wheels logo with like a gear symbol in the background, a red stripe. Another uh, gear right there. And uh, one of the Robots characters. Um, here's the, uh, grill and headlight printing. Uh, we got a little picture of a robot right there. And then a, uh, stripe going down the hood and the top. Another one of the, uh, robots characters. I wonder if, wonder if this guy's the villain of the movie. I haven't seen the movie, so I really wouldn't know. And here's the, uh, back. Powered by robots. Tail light printing, there's like a little outlet plug. Uh, I don't know what that says right there. Oh, it's a robot being dismantled. And the window is painted in. <laughs> Excuse me. And then uh, here's the uh, other side. Uh, it's the exact same thing. It's got a uh, blue roll cage, metal chassis, of course, chrome rims with uh, black tires. And yeah, that is the Robots truck. Uh, very nice looking truck. Um, probably one of the uh, coolest trucks uh, I have. Probably one of the coolest new additions to my collection. Obviously these are old trucks, but they're new to me. Uh, so yeah, very sweet, very sweet looking truck. So nice to finally have Robots added to the collection. All right, the next one we're gonna take a look at, uh, it's another truck from 04. Uh, this one is Lone Eagle. Uh, there's two variations of this truck. One has, an, uh, one has an orange roll cage, which is the one I got, and then there's one with a blue roll cage. Um, as far as I've heard, the blue roll cage one I think is rare. Um, all right, so let's open up Lone Eagle. 
Yeah, with these older Hot Wheels Moss Jam packaging, you had to open them from the top. Um, they, uh, uh, I know they changed that in like 2000, I believe it was 2013 when they changed it where you can open the packaging from the bottom when it came to Hot Wheels Monster Jam. Um, but yeah, here is Lone Eagle. Such a nice looking truck. So yeah, um, Lone Eagle, very nice truck. Um, so happy to finally add this one to the collection. Um, and uh, yeah, um, uh, this truck are, this truck retired, I believe, in like 2002 or something. Uh, I can't remember. Um, I believe this, I think this truck was owned by Alan Pizzo. Um, uh, but yeah, let's take a look at Lone Eagle. Uh, beautiful looking truck. Let's take a look at it. I love the patriotic color scheme. That's what I love about it the most. So we got the Moss Jam logo, Hot Wheels logo, Lone Eagle's logo. Got the American flag in the background, some of the stars going across the hood and the top there. Beautiful looking truck, no grill printing, but that's fine. Uh, still a gorgeous casting either way. I love these Silverado castings. We got the, uh, we got an eagle in the background with the American flag. The eagle flies again, I love that slogan. <laughs> Excuse me. And then the tail, and then the tail light printing, very nice. And uh, same stuff going on here. Oh, I missed that. There's a eagle silhouette in the background. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's got an orange roll cage, uh, metal chassis, of course, black tires with yellow rims. But yeah, and like I said, there's a rarer variation that has a blue roll cage and chrome rims. Uh, so there's two different variations. I. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna get both. I'm I'm fine with the one. Honestly, I th I like this I like this version a lot better. Um, but yeah, so nice to finally have Lone Eagle in the collection. This thing is a beauty. And yeah, we got one more truck to go. Um, here we have the Beast. Well, that one was uh, a little bit easier. Uh, I mean, uh, that package being old, it looks like it's kind of being worn out. And obviously, as I mentioned, uh, older trucks, when they're in the sun too long, the bubble kind of gets sun faded. But yeah, here it is, the Beast. Very cool truck. Um, and uh, if you guys are wondering, yes, this was a real truck. Um, it uh, just didn't have this body. Uh, it was like a, uh, it was like a school bus type body. Um, but uh, uh, the truck, with, that truck was older. It competed in the '90s. Um, this was just a concept design. This body right here. So, but yeah, let's take a look at it. This thing is awesome. Um, so let's go in and depth with the graphics. We got the Moss Jam logo, KNN filters, some other sponsor. I don't know what that says. Got the Beast logo with some flames, some more sponsors, the Hot Wheels logo. Windows are painted in, of course. Um, nice grill, nice grill printing. Um, the Beast logo. There's the top. It's orange. It's yellow. Excuse me. Uh, here's the, uh, says Jack, Jack Oberna Racing, uh, loud and proud, which is the logo, special, special TV vehicle, um, and yes, so like I said, this was a real truck, it was owned by Jack Oberna, uh, speaking of, he, uh, passed away, uh, today, on, uh, he passed away today, uh, so my condolences to his family, friends, and fans, um, uh, so, so besides the Beast, he also owned other trucks, like he also owned, uh, uh, Tough Enough, uh, Cyborg, um, 
and uh, and the monster bus. Uh, fun fact: the monster bus was actually a ride truck. Um, so, um, yeah. So if you guys are wondering, yes, the monster bus was a real truck. Um, it was a ride truck, not a race truck. So, um, and uh, I also read he also drove Grave Digger. Um, and here's the back. Got tail lights and some polka dots. Back windows painted in. Um, this old SUV casting is very nice. Um, I believe they were trying. I believe they were going with a vintage Ford Expedition casting. Um, and then same detail going on here. It's got an orange roll cage, just like Lone Eagle. Uh, metal chassis, uh, black tires with yellow rims. Actually, this orange roll cage is actually a different color, different shade of color compared to Lone Eagles. I'm just realizing that. This one's more like a, maybe a, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what kind of shade you'd call that. But yeah, uh, very nice truck. Um, so happy to add these uh, guys to the collection. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a new video when I upload one. And as always, thank you for watching. This is Eli or Curry Gaming, signing out.